In this lesson, we're going to describe the process of diffusion in polymers. And what we're going to see is the process is much more complicated in polymeric materials than it is in the metallic systems and the ceramic systems uh, that have been discussed previously. With respect to polymers, we're going to be talking about two different types of diffusion processes. One type of diffusion is where we're looking at a particular polymer that is diffusing through a solution. So here is the, an example of this polymer chain. And what we're going to look at is this structure is a coiled structure. And it's coiled because of entropic effects. Now what we will see is as we wind up increasing the concentration of polymers in this solution, we're going to begin to see that we have points that are entanglements that are associated with other polymer chains interacting. So the more uh, polymer chains that we have in the system, what we'll see is more and more possible entanglements. And it's much like uh, thinking about a straw basket full of snakes. And when we increase the concentration of snakes that are inside of this straw bag, what we see is a lot more interactions of the snakes as they sliver by, slither by one another. Um, in this case, uh, this process is similar to that, and we oftentimes refer to this diffusion of one polymer chain uh, in a solution that contains the same polymer. We're looking at the diffusion process that is often referred to as reptation. And the process of diffusion then is written again as an Arrhenius expression. Now this time, what we see is that the uh, coefficient that is in front of the exponential term winds up scaling inversely with respect to the, um, the length of the polymer uh, and, its mole and it's therefore its molecular weight. And of course what we see is as we have increased the volume fraction, associated with the polymers chains in this solution, we wind up seeing much more entangling of the individual chains. And hence, there's going to be an effect on the overall diffusivity of one chain with respect to another. Now, there's another type of diffusion process that we can look at in a polymer system, and that is when we're looking at the diffusion of a gas species through a polymer membrane. And what we're going to look at here are a variety of different gases, uh, all the way from methane um, up to butane. And of course, what you see is the fact is, as you uh, go from methane to butane, you're increasing the amount of carbon that you have in the system. And therefore, what you're doing, in effect, is to increase the radius of the molecule that's doing the diffusion. And exactly as you would expect to see in this uh, set of data, as the, uh, the uh, uh, gas becomes larger and you're diffusing through the same membrane, what you will see is a reduction in the rate of diffusion that follows this uh, size effect. So this size effect is very similar to what we talked about when we were describing the interstitial diffusion of carbon through the two different forms of iron or the diffusion of hydrogen as it moves through the two different forms of the uh, structure of iron. Thank you.